hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to implement a multi-type resource uh, a ch actually a resource chest like this which should contain uh, more than one type of resource so in this arrow quiver it will contain only one type in this chest it will contain multiple types of resources like that and here is a graphite it is a single type resource so that's the that's what I'm going to cover today. Here is the demonstration again. This is the multi-type resource chest. It has arrows, graphite and wood. And here is a single type resource. And another single type resource. And another. Right. So this is what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. And you also can join my Patreon page and support me if you like. And depending on the, on the tier you join, you will have different privileges. Right. So this is the static mesh I am going to use to represent the resource chest. So this will contain multiple resources. So let's go to the pp resource uh, the resource blueprint which i have at the moment used to represent only one type of resource so i need a way to define multiple types of resources uh, because chest would contain multiple types of resources so how can i do that what is the best way maybe we can do it like this Mm -mm. let's what if we convert this type into a into an array so before you do this part you have to make sure you have to make sure that you have watched the previous episode that I have done on BP resource blueprint so let me convert this to an array like this and yeah now you will get some issues like this and also when I turn this type to array I need the amounts now I'll call it instead of amount amounts so this one this variable represent, represents how many uh, of the how many uh, for each resource type the count of resource present in this resource chest so I need to convert this one also to a variable like this to an array like this right now you will get errors definitely so yeah let's see how to fix them let's get some room here right now since this is an array I need to let's break them I need to do the same add to inventory event I need to call this event on all the resource types that present in this variable let me compile it and for now I'll add only one type because this BP resource has only one type first type would be your yeah, arrows and the amount would be let's say six right now here you have to make sure that always you have amounts and the types have the same array length otherwise you will run into problems so let's do this for each no let's do a for loop for each why can't I do a for loop
Oh, maybe a loop. Wait. Yeah, just right click here and type loop. So here is a for loop. But if I do a loop, I would have some problem. Let me demonstrate it for you. First, uh, in order to execute this, I may have to break these links. I think the when I use a for loop, this all of these nodes will be called all of this uh, loop body. Uh, whatever the function I define here will be called simultaneously. So let's test if that is the case. So if I am correct, then 0 to 5 should be printed at the same time. Wait. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, here since this is multi-type, I need to yeah. Now I can have to get all the resource types. Oh, let me just call it. No, we should do it like this. If the length of this one equals to zero it should get the first element select okay. if this is true no length is equal to one not zero otherwise you should Wait, wait. I need to select this one. Okay, if this is true, I should get the first resource type, the only resource type available in this array. Otherwise, I should just print resources. All right. Now I should be able to play the game. Okay, so now when I press wait, uh, that is just an aesthetic mesh. So when I press this, I should print, yeah, it printed 0 to 5 at the same moment. Let me show you it again. Pay attention to the top left corner. Right, so if it happens like this, then all the things like collected fires, corrected fire graphite, corrected fire woods, everything would be would appear in the middle of the screen with the floating text at the same time. And that is not good. It will not be clear for the player that he collected multiple types of resources. So therefore, instead of using a loop, we can do it like this. Let me define another variable called index and it should be just an integer <coughs> and here well, I have to make sure that always the starting value of the index is 0 so by default it is 0 so I don't have to do anything now let's do like this let's do a branch Oh wait. <laughs> Let's promote this part except this one. Let's break it. Yeah, let's break this part and promote this part to a macro. like this and I'll call it add resource M alright 
now here I define this amount wait the type and the amount as an input to this macro and uh, I need to connect yeah this input as well uh, let me move the input to the top execute right and also I need a place to exit this so let's use this one to exit right so now each time my this one is responsible for moving my text um, upward so I need to move this one um, unit 6 uh, 60 units downwards before calling the next part because otherwise it will stay in the same place so we can do it like this set relative location after this part is done do I have to do it here maybe not let's see that let's see to that later Well, yeah, let's do it. No matter. Doesn't matter. Set relative location. This might give me a problem, but later. But let let let's fi let's fix it. And new location should be this one plus instead of the sixty, I'm gonna put minus sixty, so it will move it down to the same location. Okay, everything inside this macro is all right. Well, this part, repeating this part is not necessary. So let's move it to the outside of the macro. Like this. And okay now this is what I'm going to do uh, let's do a branch here and let's get the length if this length is larger than the index I'm going to call this add resource M with this get okay, with the index and plug it here and here get with the index and plug it here. and when it is completed I'm going to connect it right back to this place and before that I have to plus plus increment the index if this is false I need to call this so this will iterate through all the resource types if I'm correct now let's see if my current system is still working for one type of resource yeah it works but wait a minute the UI is not updated why is that
all right so here I have unconnected this resource type and the amount uh, did I miss any other place no well let's try it again right the system is working and I have a small problem with the floating text but I'll fix that later so now let's create the multi-type resource mm. yeah let's create a child class actually I could do it like this as well select one of these and change the this static mesh and change those variables but I will define it as a child class pp chest all right and instead of this one I'll use chest right and let me delete this and let's see how it would look in the map all right now let's define the variables for the type I'm gonna put arrow and what else graphite and for the amounts I'm gonna put 6 and 3 and compile so let's see if that works right it worked but there was a problem with the floating text so let's fix it before it moving down I have to make sure that text is set to nothing otherwise I'll see the text that I already have moves downward target is this And to make it look more clear, let's add another stroke, yes, a resource type for wood. Right. So the single resource type is working and also the multi resource type is also working and that's all I'm going to do for today and yeah maybe after this I should look into the UI part of the inventory and also I need to add some animation when I collect this arrow I should do something like open the chest instead of just uh, disappear it and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here um, link would be in the description below and uh, I'll, uh, I have uploaded a source code update yesterday and I'll do another one with the chest and, uh, with the treasure box soon and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye